Welcome to this week's Force tutorial. Those sweet and docile tones came from this cueca and membranophone. A cueca is a Brazilian friction drum played by pulling the string, while the membranophone is more of a basic woodwind instrument that sounds kind of like a saxophone. To make the cueca, you'll need a container like this and some string, maybe about two feet a paper clip or safety pin, and some scissors. Scissors will also be used for the membranophone, for which you'll need a plastic bottle, a straw, plastic works best, a piece of rubber, here's an old balloon, this will be the membrane, and a rubber band to hold it down with, and last but not least, a piece of paper or cardstock, cardstock is best. We'll start with the cueca, which is very easy and cueca. The first step is to take your scissors and poke a hole on the bottom of the container right in the middle or as close to the middle as you can. Once that hole is punched with your scissors or other sharp tool, feed the string through the hole and pull most of the string out through the main opening of this container. Leave a few inches hanging from the small hole that you punched. It should look something like this. Now tie that extra bit of string to your paper clip or your safety pin and once it's completely tied, you should be able to pull this string taut without the string coming out of the hole. To play the Quaker, give some gentle tugs on the string and you should hear something like this. For the membranophone, we'll start with our plastic bottle and we only need the top half of this bottle. So we'll cut that top half off and use the bottom for another Quaker or throw it in the recycling. Try to get this edge as even as you can, so if you need to trim a bit off to make it flat, go ahead. Now we'll create a hole for our mouthpiece, which is our straw. So we're going to find an area maybe halfway down, you don't have to be super exact, and poke a hole. Don't make this hole too big, try to make it just large enough for the straw, a tighter fit is always better. Once the hole is ready, go ahead and put the straw inside and make sure that it fits snugly. If it's too loose, we can always put some tape around it later. With the mouthpiece secure, now we're going to create the membrane, which will actually vibrate and help generate sound. If you don't have a balloon, a latex glove would work for this as well. Once you have it cut, you're going to very carefully spread it over the large opening on your bottle. This is the trickiest step, so take your time so you don't rip your membrane. Once your membrane is in place, you can secure it to your bottle with your rubber band. Again, take your time, do this slowly. This could result in a ripped membrane, causing you to start over. Once your membrane is in place and secured by the rubber band, you can make small micro adjustments by pulling the membrane slowly and carefully down underneath that rubber band. And then as you see here, you may have a little extra, so feel free to trim off that extra membrane for a cleaner look. Your membrane should be relatively tight and have a little bounce as you can see with my finger test. Once you are satisfied, you can reinsert your mouthpiece. That membrane has to vibrate against something and we're going to roll up our cardstock or paper to make a quote unquote sound tube that the membrane will vibrate against. Just roll up the paper or cardstock you're using and put it through the small opening of the bottle. If it's too big initially, go ahead and unroll and re-roll it until it fits. When you insert it into the small hole, you can let go and it should expand a little bit to fit nice and snug. If you'd like, you could add a couple of pieces of tape to your tube to make sure it maintains its current form. Now gently push your sound tube up towards the membrane until it barely touches the rubber. By blowing through the straw, you'll cause this membrane to vibrate and as long as it's touching the sound tube, it should sound something like this. Thanks for watching, have fun, and keep making.